Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome today. I mean, <laughs> this today's topic is really ridiculous um, because I know a lot of you are facing that. Like the first thing that is making you not to go live and, you know, pass your message across to your audience is just because you're saying this one thing. I don't look good on camera. Joseph, I don't look good on camera. I like video marketing, but I cannot go into that. It's fine. It's fine. But let me tell you something. You are actually leaving a lot of money on the table, like plenty of money on the table if you're not doing video. So right now, if you're one of those people that are in that state of mind, you know, saying, I don't like the way I look in camera, Joseph, I, I, I don't like it. I, so I, I can't do it. I have six solutions for you. Like, okay, six, nah, just six. <laughs> so I, I put together like six ways for you to overcome such kind of mindset. Okay. You, you hear me talk a lot about mindset here in smart real talks. We're always talking about mindset, you know, you sharpening your mindset, uh, mindset, have a positive mindset. So now number one thing that you need to do, I put that all in the comment section or in the description of this video rather. So the number one thing you need to do, okay, to beautify and make yourself look more handsome on camera and make yourself look beautiful on camera or lady or man man is for you to number one be confident like if you are not confident all of the other steps i'm going to give to you will not work all right number one thing is for you to be confident why are you going to be confident because of the message you have you want these people to have a changed life you as a coach you want to take them from a to b you know you want you want them to have a transformed life so if you don't go ahead to take, make that push of confidence i want to help you that means you're number one not even confident in your business number two you don't want to change people's life and number three you are not fair like i think what about I say you're wicked because you don't want to touch people, right? So please rise up and be confident. That's just number one. Number two, number two thing you should know is this, is your camera positioning. Like if I position this camera in an awkward way, let's say everybody's just, you know, viewing my jaw, it's going to be odd, right? So that can make your beauty, your handsomeness on camera not to be, you know, seen. Everybody is beautiful. Listen, you are very beautiful and you're very handsome. So it's left for you to just position yourself well before your camera. Now, if you notice, I'm looking right into your eye because my camera is just straight up, just eye level. So you place your camera eye level and that's it. That's it. If you're using your mobile phone, you just hold up your phone eye level that's how all of this works there's no big tech there's nothing too special okay so number three number three thing that you should put into consideration is have a natural light some people overthink lighting okay you don't need to overthink lighting like just have a natural light you can face your window and have the light from the window hit your face and that's it you're really beautiful you're really handsome and everybody will grab the amazing powerful content you have to share with them and in fact it can make them take action and go to the next level and that's conversion and you're making the money right <laughs> okay now number four um, is have good sound that's it like just have a good sound number four is really important because let me just play around with my sound here if i go something like and i'm, I'm trying to make a point and you can't hear me anymore but when i take it back up you can hear me because sound is really important so if your sound is bad it's going to make people begin to concentrate on your face trying to read your lips and that's when it can get really weird because they're like okay i think she has a big lip uh um you know she has big lips or hey i think his his beard is is not well shaved you know <laughs> things like that because your sound is not great and they're trying to read your lips and they're trying to now observe your face because of the sound so sound can be a huge distraction okay so number five number five way that you can use to beautify yourself on camera okay okay number five is keep practicing in front of a mirror now what am i going to practice in front of my mirror joseph what am i going to do okay 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 fine this is what you're going to do in front of your mirror just go before your mirror and just talk smile laugh 
frown, do everything possible. And here's a trick I'm gonna give you, okay? Are you ready? Okay, now look at me, look at me, just watch me. Look at my forehead, look at my face entirely. I'm gonna do something right now. So when you get before your mirror, just do this, like smile, then raise your eyebrow. Uh, like I can't do that while I'm talking, but just watch me do that right now. Smile. And that's it. That's confidence. Like you, 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 you found out your superstar kind of face. So, um, if you do that, there's this, I don't know how to explain that, but there's this flush of energy within your heart, your heartbeat gets more, you know, I don't know how to explain that, but it's just, should I say psychological or scientific, whatever you want to call it. But the important thing here is it helps to whatever, you know, way you make your face, you know, raise your eyebrow or frown or do stuff, just do it in front of the mirror and see how you entirely look. So choose the best, select all the best looks of yours from your mirror while you're practice right <laughs> okay so let me move to the last one this is the final okay the last one is practice with the rear of your camera okay practice with the rear that's your back camera practice with that this is what i mean this is all the camera practice with the rear of your camera don't don't always use the selfie to practice yeah that can deceive you practice with the rear so that you don't concentrate on looking at yourself all right so practice with the rear of your camera and look into the camera Okay, this is just the six tips I have for you on how to boost your confidence and make yourself, I mean, on how to beautify yourself on camera. So stop saying, I don't look good on camera. You look amazing. People want to hear what you have to pass across to them. So I'm sure you've been blessed by this in case you're like, okay, Joseph, I want to hear more about this. I want to learn more about this. Fine. Book a call with me. I have my link there. Book a call and I would love to help you get discovered and grow. That's what Smart Rule Talks is all about, to help you get discovered and grow. So until next time, I will see you in the next show. So keep getting discovered and growing Smart Rule Talks. See ya. Bye.